നമസ്കാർ ഇന്ത്യൻ എക്കോണമി എൻറ്റേർഡ് ഇൻ ടു കോവിഡ് ക്രൈസിസ് വിത്ത് വീക്ക് ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ഐ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ എക്കോണമി എൻറ്റേർഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദ കോവിഡ് ക്രൈസിസ് വിത്ത് വീക്ക് ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ദിസ് കോവിഡ് ക്രൈസിസ് വട്ട് ഐ മീൻ ടു സേ ഇസ് ബിഫോർ ദിസ് കോവിഡ് ക്രൈസിസ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് our balance sheets are very very bad i mean to say the indian economy balance sheet well in my last episode you would have understood in respect to whether you are uh, an economist or non economist or doesn't have any idea about how economy works you definitely would have got a basic idea about gdp in my last episode very clear formula i've given clearly explain what is internationally accepted way of calculating gdp and why you need to focus at this point of time on agriculture but this episode like how important it is if we would have been good at the time of covid crisis what i mean to say is if we would have entered into the covid crisis with a decent balance sheet then we would have managed this we have definitely managed the whole fiasco like how germany is able to manage we are able to manage but unfortunately once again i repeat we entered into the covid crisis with weak balance sheet very weak balance sheet now i will explain it very clearly with all the information fact of figures look at this graph now this graph shows you very clearly non performing assets kept increasing from 2015 actually you can see from 2014 onwards it kept increasing whereas 15 to 16 it, it's actually a big you very clearly see that so non performing assets kept on increasing what does non performing assets exactly means that you know a bank has given a loan to someone and they are not able to repay the loan they are not able to pay the emi uh, thoroughly so obviously they would be categorized into one category that category is called as non performing asset which is stressed asset i can't uh, they they put a cap of 3 months in few cases particular loans the cap would is slightly higher but we'll take an average of 3 months continuously 3 months if someone has taken housing loan he has not paid the housing loan for continuously 3 months then he would be kept into the non performing asset category now non performing assets as you can see the graph very clearly non performing assets kept increasing from 2015 to 16 it's a big jump actually very big jump now what happened to banks in 2016 initially is since non performing assets are on higher side banks stop lending because if if i am a banker i would be worried are my assets i have taken deposits deposits means from the investors investors nothing but a common man common man savings common man savings that could common man could be even a farmer teacher ex any common man savings which are in the account or fixed deposits those fixed deposits is what bank give it as a loans because they are giving it So, you know when you when you deposit certain amount in bank as a fixed deposit even as into the savings account also you would be awarded you would be gifted some 6% 4% rate of interest as a return on investment for keeping your account over there or for maintaining funds in that account now what happens in this case is these guys take that money the banks take that money and lend it to the others which is like let's say uh, no but higher rate of interest because they are giving some 4% 5% 6% over here they try to for the sake of the operations taking care of all the stuff they lend it at 12% 8% 16% depending upon the category of the business now since as a banker my assets stressed assets are increasing which is non performing assets are on high i have decided not to lend more especially in the year 2016 in fact the stressed assets if you observe beginning of the 2016 if you are aware that belong to the category of the uh, steel power infrastructure telecom and textile these are the stressed assets basically now 
what has happened in the year 2016 narendra damodar das modi what he did is you will have demonetization now if you see one more graph here that is this graph clearly tells you that this is this are all the genuine numbers please genuine numbers exact numbers swear on bhagavad gita because aap log you know there are few bucks where hey fake numbers hoga hey congress ka aadmi hoga aaram se right swear on bhagavad gita genuine numbers so right aap be don't be a partisan love keep the love aside an example i i i love i i love my wife but if if there is see i'm i'm a professor very good at mathematics now if i am supposed to take up a maths class i'm not well i can't just send my wife to go on because i love her you go and take up the mathematics she's a pathetic at mathematics i can't just go and ask her to do it in fact good part is she don't have, you know she say that no i'm i'm pathetic at maths is not my cup of tea i'll not do it so similarly here anyhow i hope you understood what i'm trying to put across now if you see this graph very clearly bank this this blue category belong to the normal banks red category belong to non banking financial corporation like tata capital bajaj finance and all this stuff banks stopped completely you see you see in december 2016 they have actually stopped from very clearly from the uh june 2016 they stopped completely because they're not getting they're not getting the things back non performing assets kept on increasing and the banks made their mind we will not lend more money we will not you know lend more money because the situation is very very bad so they stopped lending now suddenly what has happened demonetization in 2016 now now money because what gentlemen thought is that money's won't come to the bank but fortunately to some people unfortunately money's came into the account like now when the money's came into the account there is a plural form of money called money's when money's came into the account bank so bank has to honor return on investment that could be a deposit or that could be any category normal savings category also now what bank has to do bank is afraid bank said boss i can't give it to non performing assets now i can't definitely entertain i'm already stressed and this gentleman did demonetization so much of money came into the account what will i do now i have to otherwise how can i honor my you know my depositors who has invested money in my bank again i'm telling that investors nothing but common people's money okay. so what they did is they started lending money to non banking financial corporation that red category is that category only non banking financial corporations now nbfcs nothing but you as as you see that as i said tata capital bajaj finance all those categories non banking financial corporations is yes, this is you know what happens is bank works under strict norms but nbfc is not under very strict norms and bank okay will i'll just give it to him at least i'm raat ko thoda theek se so sakta hai i can at least sleep uh, slightly decently because otherwise this is going to be more horrible if i give it to normal people what these people did they take in the money right nbfcs and invested mostly on the infrastructure so they have taken short term money invested on a long term commitments they invested mostly on infrastructure especially real estate now look at this graph look at this graph the next one look at the amount of real estate loan expenses you see that very clearly red is non banking financial corporation nbfc private banks and then comes psus so you see red category is extremely high non banking financial corporations 
they started giving loans to the real estate sector on a higher margins whereas the normal that same company would have gone to the state bank of india state bank of india will say i will not give you because you were a non performing asset you have not honored me very well i'm upset with you i will not do that but the same person goes to the non banking financial corporation with state bank of india would have given a money as a loan he can avail the loan from him but he can't avail from the state bank of india and just an example now now look at the next category look at the next category next figure completely crashed you see this figure the whole money is invested is in the real estate and the real estate sector from 2016 you see from 2016 real estate sector is stagnant that that red is unsold inventory the red one belong to unsold inventory category unsold inventory see that 8 lakh crore 2016 to 2019 almost it is stagnant can you imagine 8 lakh crore 8 lakh crore inventories means houses were vacant they are funded by the non banking financial corporations now non banking financial corporations which have taken money from the banks is on a big stack that's why all the infrastructure companies ilfs and all the stuff already you are aware things have gone i can't name it but now what happens is bank will put pressure mera paisa chahiye bhai i need my money i need my money nbfcs will put pressure on the builders builders will hands up there will be too many companies pipelined too many companies from 2020 end we can say till a couple of years two or three years because see the stressed assets see the 8 lakh crore do you think now at this time of pandemic next one or two years do you think people will buy the new houses no this means can't you know that's the reason the whole system is disrupted whole system one wrong move that is demonetization we would have entered if if we would have entered into this covid crisis with some decent balance sheet would have managed now the i don't know how do we if i keep on if i if i try explaining all the stuff to you hey un log congress ne kya kiya usko chodo bhai absolutely leave them seriously leave them don't you feel like let's say assume that you and your child is having an uh, argument that your child has got some 80% just 80% marks in cbsc you know you were expecting him to get some 90 above and uh, child written asked you papa i have just seen your uh, you know your 10th standard score and you were just carried some 45% at that point at that time then imagine what you'll do beta us samay bahut mushkil tha padhna hi mushkil tha 45 50% hi bahut bada percentage tha right usme to aapka explanation hai or is me whenever we whenever people question immediately 1975 ka 1980 ka congress ne kiya congress ko completely forget the man under discussion is narendra damodar das modi government performing is bharatiya janata party so people's money this investors confidence is very investor is nothing but the common man common man's money will be on stake if these things keep on now the first thing is my analysis i'm working on it in this non performing assets at least now we are entering into the covid crisis situation which is which i'm going to elaborate more in my upcoming uh, next video you can say non performing assets right if they are like in what angle we have to see if they are in the green zone at least 
but nbfc will be on a safe i you know he is in green zone at least his business is working he will pay no worries no worries if non performing assets are in red zone category can you imagine now that percentage is very very important what is the percentage of the non performing assets inside the red zone category because of the covid crisis that number i will because it is pyar alag hota hai you know mode ji bahut hi like like we want we want to have him in a family acha bashan fair enough but ek kaam alag hota hai this is different a very sensitive stuffs those many people would have advised mat ki ji my my first video of this you know my channel first video you see that is does pm modi know numbers first video clearly explain force we should force what is happening kya ho sakta hai you see what is the what situation we are in at least because i don't know i i seriously because 8 hours in a day i conduct classes 8 hours and then i took some time and i i told something in january it said that we are going to face and before he he comes and says 20 lakh crore i said 25 lakh crore is required for the indian economy people say pagal aadmi 25 lakh crore ka kon dega then modi ji comes and says after one month i am giving 20 lakh crore wa modi ji wa but the actually calculations is it really reaching the people 20 lakh crore completely anyhow the worrying point is we are very close to bad things that is uh, I'll, I'll show that how to take it forward also because I, as you're aware, I don't just say problems. I work on the solutions. We need to sit work on solutions. Let's get knowledge. Thoda chahiye. Now, in the next video, I'll come out with how many of them in red zones and how to exactly the things have to take it forward. I'll try my level best, and this is this can't be just one episode. I'll try to put up in three, four episodes. Take a call at least. in 2024 tarauli rest is over to your wisdom nandri wanakam